Hey, it's Mazzy here. We have kind of an announcement today. 50 years ago, I first saw Bob Dylan with the band, that infamous 1974 tour. Bill Graham produced it around the country. Uh, I saw it twice uh, in Oakland, and what a great show it was. But at the end of the previous year in 1973, uh, Dylan gets into the studio for three days and get together with the band again. After, what, 12, 13 years with Columbia Records, he leaves Columbia Records, signs to David Geffen's Asylum Record, and the result is uh, Planet Waves. I really like this album, but it's, to some people, considered a very loose album, sort of a funky album. I mean, three days in the studio with the band, but some great songwriting here. Of course, it opens with On a Night Like This, goes into this slow dirge, going, going, gone, with that great kind of twangy guitar sound to Robbie Robertson. Tough Mama Hazel, Something There Is About You, a beautiful ballad. And of course, there's two versions of Forever Young on this album. There's a, a fast version and a slow version. I think it's one of the best songs on the album. Uh, dirge. You Angel You, another great one, uh, Never Say Goodbye, and it ends with the wedding song. I recorded it at Village Recorders in L.A., uh, and uh, it, it, it's, a, it's a different direction for Bob Dylan uh, around this time here. Of course, uh, he would embark on that massive tour produced by Bill Graham. Throughout here, I'm going to uh, sprinkle some images up that I took of Bob Dylan at the Oakland Coliseum on that tour. My first time seeing Dylan... I since I've probably seen Dylan about 20 times over the year, my favorite individual solo artist of all time. But uh, the reason for this video is because 50 years, uh, there seems to be a copyright, a dump here. Columbia just announced a massive 27 CD set, 1974 Live Recordings CD box. You can pre order it now on Amazon or the Dylan site. I'll get to the the kicker, the one vinyl uh, smaller edition that you only get if you're a member of Third Man Records, if you know the Vault series, if you're a subscriber at Third Man. But this includes all the professionally recorded uh, shows. And there's a massive uh, box. Dylan has done this before. But this goes from January 74, Chicago Stadium, through, let's see, uh, we got Sh Chicago Stadium, we got Philadelphia, we got... Uh, Toronto, Montreal, Boston Gardens, Charlotte, North Carolina, uh, Hollywood, Florida, Atlanta, Atlanta. Do, I, do you want me to read all these off? You know, I'll put a link below to the official site, the Seattle Center Coliseum here. Uh, of course, it has the Oakland show, uh, the uh, afternoon and the evening show in Oakland, and I attended both those uh, series. Uh, this... I really like this, and of course, later, uh, this is the Asylum album that resulted, uh, was a concert from this. Uh, this is uh, after the flood, Bob Dylan and the band. Before the flood, I always get confused before or after the flood. I mean, I think you want to be in a place before the flood, not after the flood, and as long as you know what the flood is. Recorded live in concert. What I love about this is he really attacks these songs. He's... He just, he's a fighter with these songs. He's an aggressive uh, performer with these songs. The way he does, you know, you go your way, I'll go mine. And it just, he, he, it's, it's a, it's a direct attack. It's uh, an assault. It's loose. It's wonderful. A couple years after this, he gets uh, signed back and he returns to Columbia Records. Columbia put that album out, Dylan, which was a hodgepodge of, uh, of loose tracks, um, which I actually like. Some people didn't like it because they were sort of crooner songs and strange covers and just called Dylan. And um, But he comes back to Columbia, and of course, what comes out? Blood in the Tracks. So he had a rebirth in a way, and then of course, uh, just a, a great series of albums and has been with Columbia ever since. And I remember this is one of the first uh, tours that I can recall seeing this wave of the audience of people holding up uh, matches and lighters, uh, and, and uh, these are the days when people could smoke in uh, in the venues. This is coming out, I believe, in September. September 20th, it ships Bob Dylan's complete 1974 recordings, and you can see right here with this massive 
set is like a brick. It's a brick of released, of unreleased uh, songs and the entire tour, which would basically consider it a copyright dump. Now, this is not unprecedented. Uh, Dylan has, and Columbia has done this before in the past. They put out the 1966 live recordings as a cube. It's probably a similar release this, to this. Uh, this has all the shows from that 66 tour. And this was released as a 50th copyright uh, dump as well. Has a booklet and has literally all the shows that came out uh, that he did, that they recorded uh, during that period, 1966. Fabulous set. These are the kind of sets that are for the Dylan completist, for an artist completist. I am one of them. They also put out uh, this, the Bob Dylan Rolling Thunder Review, 1975, a tour that I saw uh, the Austin leg of this. Uh, this is sort of the, uh, this is when they had like, literally it was a, a traveling circus, a traveling carnival in a way. Uh, but this is also wonderful too. Again, these are not for everyone. Uh, now the extra thing here, the hard to get thing here for uh, Dylan fans, not that it's hard, but it, it is expensive, which is really unfortunate. And that is the three LP set that's exclusive only if you're a member of the vault through Third Man Records. Now, it is so secretive and so that I can't even get in because I'm not a member of the vault. You have to subscribe. I believe it's $75 a quarter or $280 a year to subscribe to the Third Man Vault. Then you can get their special limited releases. So it's an investment. Uh, I assume you could start in a quarter, stop and start, and but you have to join the vault, sign up for the vault for your $75 by July 31st. So July, August, September, October, you could pay your $75, subscribe to the Third Man Vault, buy that record, and then delete your subscription, I guess. But, um, you know, I'm not a fan of that. Uh, they did that before with one of the other Dylan releases that was hard to get. Uh, this is the only way this is going to be in vinyl. This won't be in a massive vinyl set this time. So that is a good thing. I don't think this kind of uh, set needs to be on, what would that be? You know, 75 slabs of vinyl if they did the whole thing on vinyl. This is the perfect medium. Compact discs, uh, the perfect medium, medium for... Uh, a copyright dump like this, but um, introducing vault package number 61, Bob Dylan's 1974 live recordings, the missing songs from before the flood. And what that means is three LPs. It's the songs. These are taken from various shows on that 1974 tour, but the songs that were not on uh, the proper album that came out on Asylum Records. So uh, with that three LP set, in addition to this, you'll have five LPs if you have this. And in theory, you'll have most of the songs from the tour, at least versions of the songs. So again, if you want the entire uh, series of professionally recorded shows, you go to bobdylan.com or Amazon, and you can pre-order the 20 seven CD set. I do not think this is limited. Although when you have a set like this, they usually do uh, one and gone. So one pressing. I don't think it'll sell out. The third man will definitely sell out. Dylan Freaks are Dylan Freaks. So they'll sign up. Uh, well, I, I don't know yet. I don't have that other third man uh, release, but I, again, I'm all in on Bob Dylan. So 27 CDs and books, a booklet there, uh, cube type package again, much like the other uh, Dylan copyright dump sets. And that's the news for today. So coming out in September, 27 CDs of all the professionally recorded shows of the 1974 Bob Dylan U.S. tour. Wonderful tour. I'm looking forward to it. It is a lot to digest. I think it's not for uh, mere mortals. It's not for uh, Bob Dylan amateur fans. It's for the professional Dylan fan. And it's a fun thing. Uh, again, uh, check it out. Are you going to get it? Are you going to try to sign up for Third Man if you're a Dylan fan just to get this set? I don't know if I am. Uh, but uh, that's the news for today. Bob Dylan, 1974, 50 years uh, copyright dump uh, of um, that great uh, tour with the band. Uh, next time, Mazzy loves you.